Maybe the most iconic symbol of Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul is the pink teddy bear. We see this pink bear floating around in Walter White's pool in episode 201 of Breaking Bad, and by the end of season 2 we see the bear a couple more times in cold opens, before finally seeing it crash into Walter White's pool as a result of the air traffic control disaster. The symbolism of the bear itself has been widely discussed. On the surface, it represents the innocence that was killed as a result of Walt's behavior. In season 2, it is the only object that is given color during the cold openings it's featured in. This is of course an homage to Schindler's List. Schindler's List is a black and white film except for a couple images, most notably the red coat of a little girl. The little girl is the symbol of innocence in that film, and her red coat highlights this. The color of red also represents death. The pink teddy bear has become so iconic, it's easy to forget that it was in the hands of a little girl before she died, which is just a horrific image, probably the most disturbing image of the entire show, which is saying something because a couple other children are killed, as well as Andrea. The pink teddy bear can also be seen as a foreshadow of what happens to Gus, although I don't think that was the creator's original intention. It definitely works, but I think half of Gus's body being blown off is more of a symbol about how Gus lived his life under two personas, and the dark persona was what ultimately sealed his fate. Breaking Bad is filled to the brim with dualism imagery. Although the bear's body is taken away at the end of season 2, Walt ends up finding the missing eye in his pool filter, and this is the symbol I've always found very interesting. Walt's initial decision of what to do with the eye is very strange. The eye is a remnant of a horrific incident which he's partly responsible for. Most people in his position would either take the eye and bury it 10 feet underground, or throw it away at least. Walter decides to keep it. Why does he do that? This is a question that Vince Gilligan himself has brought up. In an interview, he was asked about the eye and what it means, and he said that although he can't give a 100% certain answer of what it means, he does say this. If you're going to hold my feet to the fire, what it means to me is the eye of God on Walt, if not necessarily judging him, nonetheless watching him, keeping tabs on him. And then the question, if that is what the symbolism stands for, why does Walt keep the eye? Why does he keep it in his drawer versus discarding it? That is a difficult question to answer, but I'm going to throw some ideas out there and hopefully some will stick for you. First of all, I've always seen the eye representing the judgment of God, and it's rare to get a half confirmation from a showrunner on a specific symbol, so I'm going to continue this video with that premise accepted. As far as I know, and I could be wrong about this, religion is never explicitly brought up in Breaking Bad, or even Better Call Saul for that matter. The characters don't discuss if they believe in a God, but they don't go out and say that they don't, so presumably Walter and his family are agnostic. Now, throughout Breaking Bad, we see Walt use a variety of excuses for why he does what he does, and none is more prevalent than I'm doing it for my family. And at the beginning, this could almost be morally accepted. His wife has another baby on the way, and his son is handicapped. If Walt is just making the product and somewhat staying out of the game, it'd be easier to give him a pass, especially since the meth will be made by someone, regardless of what he does. And this excuse is best shown in a vital scene with Gus. Why did you make these decisions? For the good of my family? Then they weren't bad decisions. What does a man do, Walter? A man provides for his family. This is extremely clever rhetoric by Gus in many different ways, but especially because instead of trying to keep the trade-offs neutral, he actually tells Walt that he's doing a moral positive. This is of course exactly what Walt was looking for. Moral justification. So how does this all tie into the eye? We know that at the end of Breaking Bad, Walter comes to term with what he did and why he did it. He tells Skylar that it wasn't for the good of the family, but rather his own selfish reasons. I think the eye is actually making this revelation to Walt, but he chooses not to accept it. Hypothetically, the only other thing that could truly know what's happening inside of Walter White's head is a higher power. The teddy bear's eye acting as this higher power was poking at Walter, basically saying, you can tell yourself whatever you want, we both know that you're acting in service of your own pride and nothing else. And the truth is a very difficult thing to ignore or destroy, and Walter doesn't put the eye in his dresser to see every morning, he instead chooses to hide it away in places. Walter doesn't want to be judged by God or the truth, which are synonyms if you believe in God, because like every human, he likes to play by his own rules. But I think in a way he's able to recognize that the eye's judgment is justified, and no false excuse will spare him from the consequences that will eventually arrive. In its simplest form, my hypothesis is this. Walter doesn't throw the eye away because it's showing him the truth, and the small part of him which recognizes this doesn't allow him to completely discard it. If you think that thesis carries any weight at all, there is one more scene I think is worth taking into consideration. 
The scene comes in Felina when Walter is trying to steal a car so he can drive it back to New Mexico, and cop lights are behind him. He just can't get the car to start. His back is completely against the wall, so he says under his breath, Just get me home. I'll do the rest. And after he says this, the car keys fall into his lap, and almost everything in Albuquerque goes according to his plan. Some people have theorized that Walter was speaking to his Heisenberg persona at that moment. I don't think that's true. I think Heisenberg was dead at that point. Others think he was talking to the car, which is probably true. But at the very least, I believe there is a double meaning to what he's saying. I think he's mostly talking to God, and when he says, I'll do the rest, he's talking less about killing Jack and his crew and more admitting to God that, you were right about my motivations, it was just about my pride, just help me get home so I can reveal the truth to Skylar and fix some of my wrongs. It was the end of his trial with the eye. He finally pleaded guilty, and part of his plea was being allowed to get back home. Vince Gilligan said in an interview that he thought atheism was as difficult to get his head around as fundamental Christianity, and with that in mind, it's difficult to make a confident claim about what role he wanted the idea of God to play in Breaking Bad's story, but I suspect at some level Gilligan believed that there is some sort of higher power overseeing the actions of humans, and he used the eye to represent this belief. Let me know in the comments what you think about the eye, and if you think I'm misguided in any of my ideas. Theology has always been a big interest of mine, so it was a fun symbol to consider, and I believe that the best artistic themes and ideas tend to be found outside the material world. And by the way, before I go, they actually made a keychain of the eye, so if you ever want the judgment of God to follow you around everywhere you go, Breaking Bad merchandise has you covered. Thank you for watching, have a great rest of your day, and hopefully, I'll talk to you soon. Have a good one.